not to die today. Generations who were killed in climate disasters. Happy Death Day to you. Every time there's a new record, you can call it a little death day. And we're gonna have so many more because we're not getting our act together. Happy Death Day to you. It'll be 140 here in 20 years. I'll see you there if we're still alive. Happy Death Day to you. Happy Death Day to you. Happy Death Day to you. Happy Death Day to all the children who will die from climate disasters in the future and presently. Happy Death Day to you. Happy Death Day in this park. This park that is designed for us all to be uh, daredevils. This yeah. park that is asking us to come here, spend money while we all hurt our skin and uh, be unsustainable. There's nothing sustainable about this park. There's a lot of syllables. For yes, I can sing anything with to this tune. I can convey information through a tune because the park service is using this as a celebration. And this is not a way to have a conversation about all the problems that are going on right now. And so we're singing a song and we're having a celebration because it is the death day and there'll be another one probably next year when the next year record is hit That's and then sweet. the one after that and after that then a next one and once again it's 140 good luck trying to be here then at that point nobody will be here that is how it goes we know this we can predict that and so we can look at the past and in fact there was a good past here where the Tambisha Shoshone knew how to live here Nobody was down here in the summers before the white settlers arrived. Nobody in their right mind would have been down here. That's why the 49ers died when they came here. They were idiots and they didn't know what they were doing. The team Bishish and Show, they knew what to do, what you do in a, in a heat wave like this. And in fact, in the whole summer here, you don't live down here. You live up in the Panamint Mountains where it's 30 degrees cooler. There's no reason to be here. This park should have been designed completely differently. It's designed to make us to basically give us junk food. We're all here for the junk food. And that thing hits one, and it'll be real fun, but it's not fun at all, I'm sorry. And they're planning a, a marathon here in about 20 minutes, and it should not be a celebration. But since it is, happy death day to you. Bravo. Happy death Bravo. day to, how about us? Us. I thought it was over. Happy death day to us. Happy death day. Somebody you know will probably die in a climate uh, emergency if they haven't already. It could be your own child. I'm a child of one. It really is painful. Let's be honest about that. Why are we here? Uh, we should we should be vacationing in places that don't require so much air conditioning. Our future children are going to, people are going to die because of this. Just want to let you know, Furnace Creek over here is completely unsustainable. Only 30% of its energy comes from solar panels, but look at all this fucking sun. Why don't they fill this place with with a sustainable energy infrastructure? If not, this park should close down in the, in the summer. We should not be here. It is not sustainable. I said it, and I can say it in different ways. I'm gonna sing for the next hour. How do you make it sustainable? How can you get it sustainable? Well, one thing you could shut it down in the summer. Nobody needs to be here. It's beautiful in the winter. Come back when it's so totally nice here. Like world records. Yeah, but you can go to your sauna when you want to. It's wherever you want it to be. This place is not sustainable. What should happen is that Tambisha Shoshone should at least get back to Wild Rose Canyon so that, so that they, I'm not going to respond to you. You're just trying to be an anti-client person. We can talk about all kinds of structure. Yeah, why are, what, so what side are you on? 
Well, let's talk about that. Yeah, totally. We can use nuclear energy. Lithium batteries that aren't even recyclable, but people sit by behind this facade, and you have all these fucking climate people who fly into all these conventions and they're private jets, being a bunch of hypocrites. Well, I am a climate person, and I'm losing a lot of money coming here. I did get paid to come here as a writer to research what it's like being here in the summer. I did get paid, but not enough. So I'm losing money being here. I lost a month of income. I'm not that kind of person. My child is. Uh, my child was born a year ago, and can you imagine what's going to happen in 20 years? We are living a year into her living here. New York was fucking burning. We can't take her outside. I can't wait for a full month of that. 20 years from now, and so when we can't have fun here and just celebrate this. It's getting hotter. It's not funny. So I don't know what else the fuck you want to say. The re the when was the record broken here? It was 134 degrees, what, 100 years ago? Here? That record was, was challenged. Years ago. And also, that's the, the Death Valley is an open signifier. For all of your thoughts about why climate change should not happen, Death Valley is one fucking place. I think it's ridiculous. It's also, I think this is ridiculous for you guys to watch. I, I'm one person. I'm a solo choir right now. You can join me if you want to sing your own version of your opinion. I'd love to hear it in the form of song if you can. In this fucking opinion, awful hut. Answers, though. You're not giving suggestions. I can give you suggestions. Give suggestions. Okay, so so a better a better thing than being here would be if you uh, first went anywhere else in the summer. You could go anywhere else and have a nice time. You don't need to to burn all this carbon and be in air conditioning. It's totally unnecessary. You can go north. That's what people have done forever. In fact, like the Timbisha Shoshone, they knew that you don't come down here. They went to the summer home. And before I get to the answers, one other thing. We're all here on vacation, right? They were in their vacation home in the late 50s. The government made some weird rule that said you could, you could destroy any